Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man. I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang. God squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out, man. Deontay Wilder just stated in the article. Well, no, he didn't state in the article, but it was an article pertaining to Deontay Wilder saying that Undisputed is going to be postponed until um, Joshua Usyk too. So you mean to tell me that you two grown ass men is about to wait for Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk to fight before you can decide whether to go for Undisputed or not. Undisputed is not the Anthony Joshua sweepstakes, okay? Right now, Alexander Usyk is the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Right now. So, if you want Undisputed, technically, you don't need AJ for that. What y'all want is the bag. Y'all don't give a fuck about them goddamn belts. Y'all want the bag. Because even though AJ got two losses, the motherfucker steal the bag in the heavyweight division. So, you motherfuckers, Fury and Wilder, y'all don't want the belts. Y'all want the bag. And yet and still, you bitch ass niggas is talking like y'all the bag. But y'all won't do shit until Anthony Joshua, the bag, do some shit. So you mean to tell me y'all will put y'all careers on hold until Anthony Joshua do something? So y'all can't do shit, you can't wipe your ass, you can't eat your food, you can't go out and play, you can't do shit until Anthony the Landlord Joshua give you some sort of permission to go do the shit. Okay, that's, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. Undisputed does not depend on Anthony Joshua. So anybody that says that fuck shit, they just waiting on AJ and Usyk too. Why? And of course somebody gonna say, cause of the rematch clause. Y'all would say that shit even if it wasn't no rematch clause and Alexander Usyk was just an honorable dude and willing to give AJ a rematch. Y'all would still make that fucking excuse. Bottom line, Wilder and Fury don't want undisputed. They want the bag. They want the bag. It ain't about AJ supposedly being the easier opponent or whatever the fuck. They want the bag. Because I promise you, I promise you they will not fight Alexander Usyk. They will not. I pr if Alexander Usyk beat AJ this second time, they not going to fight Usyk. I bet you they ain't gonna fight Usyk. They still gonna be talking shit about AJ, calling him a bum, and talking about how he couldn't beat Usyk, and he got two losses, but quiet is kept to be real with you bitch-ass motherfuckers. AJ actually did the shit the right way. So at the, at the end of the day, you still gotta respect game for Anthony Joshua because he was still willing to fight whoever, whenever, however, and didn't give a fuck about it, win, lose, or draw. Unlike Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, who only want to fight when everything is beneficial for them. They're not going to fight if it's not all the way beneficial for them, if everything isn't working in their favor. Bitch shit. Life don't even work like that. Everything in life is not going to go in your favor. But you still got to move on. You still got to live. You still got to handle your business. You still got to get up and go to work. You still got to take care of your kids. You still got to take care of your family. Life keeps moving. But these motherfuckers tend to think that they got to have everything going their way. They feel like the sun sets in their ass. Let me tell y'all something. Been saying it. We not going to get undisputed at the heavyweight division. It's not going to happen. These dudes is looking to build clout. Anthony Joshua is the bag. In, at the heavyweight division Not Tyson Fury Not Deontay Wilder Anthony Joshua is the bag Anytime you have to wait On somebody else To see what they gonna do Before you do something That means the person that you waiting on Got a lot more control Over your career A lot more dictation over your career Than you do Cause if y'all can't do shit, not necessarily can't, but if y'all won't do shit until AJ do something, that means AJ has more control over y'all careers than y'all do. 
Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Because if he really didn't, y'all would just fight each other and let the chips fall where they may. But all this, well, let's see what AJ gonna do. Well, let's see what this gonna happen. Let's we'll see what this, let's do this. Let's see how this gonna go. If y'all wanna talk all this shit about AJ being a bum and he ain't this and he garbage, he not that, why the fuck is y'all waiting on this motherfucker to do anything before y'all do something? If AJ so can, so garbage, such a bum, such this, such that, all these negative things, why the fuck y'all gotta wait for him before y'all finally do some shit? Why? Exactly. Because he's not a bum. He's the landlord. Regardless of him taking two losses, he was willing to take the risk that you whole ass niggas won't take. For that, you have to respect him. Because at least he's willing to get in the ring And fight Whoever He's not going to make no excuse Okay, he, he's my man though He's the number one dude I'm going to fight him If I don't fight him, y'all going to take my shit Alright, I'll fight him Garbage The fact that Deontay Wilder has Claims that he has to wait to see what the next man going to do Before he could do something Ain't no man finna control what I do like that he lost. All right, he lost. Well, I know what I'm finna do. And if he's if he's around when I'm on my on my come up, if he just so happen to be around or available for me to scrap with, then I'll scrap with him. No problem. But as far as me going on my way to talk shit about this motherfucker, if I feel like I'm the baddest man on the planet, I'm not talking about a motherfucker with two losses if I'm supposed to be the baddest motherfucker on the goddamn planet. If I'm supposed to be the motherfucking the, the gypsy king and I'm the motherfucking man and I run America and I'm the Mayweather of of, of, of the UK and all that bullshit, well, I ain't talking about no goddamn Anthony Joshua. Straight the fuck up. I ain't talking about AJ. If Tyson Fury is so much on par with AJ, why would Tyson Fury feel the need to talk about him why would Deontay Wilder feel the need to wait for him to do something before he actually makes some shit happen for himself if he's so good if Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder if they so good why do they have to wait to see what the fuck AJ gonna do even after his second loss before they actually do some real shit let that sink in for a minute because a lot of y'all with that bull well he's there waiting for AJ they're waiting for why they do all this talking about how he ain't shit. What the fuck you want to wait for a motherfucker who ain't shit for? Help me make that make sense.